上来吧。If you can hear me, please type yes in the comment section. If you can see me as well, please type yes in the comment section as well. Once again, this is Lucy and I am live in the Northern General Market, which is right here. The Northern General Market in Guanghan City, which is in the north of Sichuan province. Again, behind the camera is Mr. Li. Mr. Li, his name is spelled L-I. You can say hi, he will do a thumbs up to you. Yeah, you can say hi to Mr. Li. His last name is spelled L-I. And today, we are going to explore this beautiful market full of amazing vegetables, water products, and a lot of local Sichuan food products. So let's go and check it out. I can't wait to show you so many amazing foods that makes your mouth water and makes my mouth water all the time as well. Let's see. Jesse said you can see and hear me. Thank you so much, Jesse. Amazing to see you. Welcome to China and welcome to Sichuan. If you are watching, please let me know what type of... Oh, check out this little dog. So cute. Bye. A lot of people coming to this market are locals living nearby and of course they can bring their pets. And let's have a look at this stand right here. 老板你好,看一下您这个蒸饭. So this is sort of like a fengzhen type of cuisine that is very special in the Sichuan area. A lot of this food are steamed as you can see and this is already made. Do you like the color of it? Please let me know. This is steamed rice with sweetness inside and this is steamed rice with some really beautiful white meat, bai rou in the Chinese language, or pork on top of it. You can buy it and you can take it home and steam it in your steamer and ready to eat. Really, really yummy indeed. We have George here saying hi to Mr. Lee. Thank you so much for saying hi to my camera expert today. And we have Ifran said, Lucy, how are you? And good morning. Thank you so much. We're doing really well and our morning has been great. Have a look at this gentleman making his pancakes. 老板你好,看一下你怎么做这个饼. Wow. You can see he's so skillful with his hands, pushing and whirling the dough and he's adding a little bit of oil so that the dough can be more moist. Very good skills and you can see his arm is very muscly which means he had years and years of experience. If you are curious of how long he has done it for his living, let me ask him very quickly in Mandarin, so please bear with me. 老板您好,请问您贵姓啊? 我姓张。姓张, this is Mr. Zhang, Z-H-A-N-G is how you can spell his last name. And I want to ask, how long has he done this for? 请问您做这个饼做多久了,多少年,几年? 八年了。八年了, wow. So Mr. Zhang, he has made this type of pancake for eight years in the Northern General Market in Guanghan City, southwest of China, with amazing cuisine all over. So looks like he's very busy rolling his dough. We have Nick here watching. And to tell you, the finished product looks like this. So I want to see if I can buy one. 老板,这一个要多少钱呀, 这个饼? 五元. So each one of these is 5 yuan. And you can see this is such a busy market with a lot of people coming around. And we're going to see a lot of different stands. This one is 5 yuan. And we are going to buy one right here. 老板,我们买一个吃好吧? 送一个,真的吗? 谢谢,谢谢。那我先拿一个,然后回来我再给你付钱。不服气。要的,要的,要的。
So Mr. John, he's very... Please. 谢谢，一个一个就够，一个就够了。谢谢。可以可以可以，谢谢谢谢。可以可以可以，谢谢谢谢。So he wants to give us two of the pancakes and for free. So he's very very nice gentleman. And I had a little bird telling me that our camera person did not have breakfast this morning because he was really busy getting up. So I'll give one to him so he can share my joy. Mr. Lee, you can eat one. Let's eat. It's very yummy inside. Very, very hot. And a lot of hot smell. Very yummy indeed. How hot is it? Thank you. And it's very salty as well. And very good for your breakfast. Let me quickly check if you have any comments. And do you like our pancakes? We have George said, mmm, good. Yes, this is really, really good, George. And we have Jose said, Lucy, where are you from? Um, hello, how are you from Texas? Amazing to see you from Texas. My name is Lucy. Behind the camera is Mr. Lee. And we are in Sichuan, in southwest of China. You can have a look at this stand as well. They have a lot of preserved meat that people are getting ready for Chinese New Year. Once again, this is a very busy market. So if you can't hear me, please let me know in the comment section and I will speak up because this market is quite busy and there are a lot of noise around. Beautiful um, preserved meat hanging down. Some of them are smoked and some of them are wind dry. Hello from Ohio, amazing to see you. David, and today we're having a very good day eating some pancakes and walking around in a beautiful market in the morning in China. This is some different type of cakes right here. 老板,请问这是什么呀? 米糕。米糕. So the um, boss told me that this is actually rice cakes. Rice cakes. So it is made with a rice mince and put in with different types of beans, red beans, and here sweet Chinese dates. And here is a more um, common type of cake, similar to the Western type of cake. And you can see the lovely lady, she steams it on top of this bamboo steamer. 老板您贵姓? So this is Miss Chen, Chen Laoban. And you can see this looks very, very good. So yummy. Thank you so much. Thank you. And we have Gail said, I'm watching from Florida. Guys, do you think I should try one of these cakes? Please let me know in the comment section. Say yes. So I'll try one and tell you how it tastes like. And if you think you want to see different type of things, you can say no and I'll come back to this later on. What I wanted to show you, um, I don't know whether we can walk back a little bit. I wanted to show you a different type of tofu. Wow, check this. 阿姨,等一下,阿姨,看一下这个. Check this out. 你是在给人送这个面是吗? 是的。Wow. So they have this type of very spicy noodle. Let's go have a look. Wow. So this is... 老板,我看一下你这个豆腐啊. And guys, please excuse me. I need to cough a little bit. <coughs> because I think just now I got too excited. And I had a little bit of um, cake inside. And I need to drink some water. Oh wow, amazing. And I am back. And I need to drink a little bit of water because it was too hot just now. Oh, good. So guys, if you're wondering what type of uh, tofu this is, let me tell you, this is preserved tofu. So you can see they have sort of like mud covering the tofu. It is because the tofu has been preserved in humid areas for a long time. So the tofu is sort of growing out of hair. And then you can preserve it, adding sort of like chili powder and sugar and a lot of vinegar inside to become a type of um, sweetness to eat during your breakfast. You can see all of 
the seasoning is right here. Wow, can you handle all of the spiciness? You can let me know. And you can also let me know if you love spicy food. Type yes or no in the comment section. And let me know if you've learned how to use uh, chopsticks to eat spicy food in your daily life. Let me know in the comment section. I can see all of your comments in real time. So let's keep going. I wanted to show you all of this amazing food in this morning market. And we have this as well. 老板,这个叫什么? 128。128。128。So this is very Sichuan, very local in this part of China. 128。这是怎么做的呀? 这个里面。糯米。So inside it is sticky rice. And outside they have wrapped it with leaves. This is zongzi, sticky dead dumpling in China, and you can eat it during moon cake festival or spring uh, mid-autumn festival as well. If you wanted me to have a try at one of these, you can let me know. But at the moment, we are going to keep going. All right, so you can see now we have a fruit stand right here with a lot of really yummy fruits. If you like any type of this fruit behind me, you can let me know as well. And let's turn around because this is something that is really, really cool to see. Very typical Sichuan cuisine. Check out these chili papers. Wow, I think my colleague Ming Rui, when she traveled to Sichuan, she showed you a Sichuan paper making factory and she tried to bite into a Sichuan pepper when it's still raw and uncooked and she had a numbing uh, taste and her tongue wasn't working functioning well at all after this so today I can already smell a lot of I can already smell a lot of numbing aroma from this this is the red type of Sichuan pepper and in here you can see Qinghua Jiao which is the green type of Sichuan pepper. Oh, and these two aren't even the most numbing. And the boss told me actually this one from Hanyuan is the most numbing type of Sichuan pepper. So it is very telling that the Sichuan pepper this type of spice is named the Sichuan pepper because this gives the signature flavor of the Sichuan cuisine. Numbing and very spicy. And good morning to you, Stan. We are touring around the Guanghan Northern General Market to show you how the current Shu people live. Because Years and years back, they've discovered the Sanxingdui um, relics and discovered a glimpse of how the ancient Shu people lived thousands of years back. But right now, how do people in this land still live? That is the reason why we're taking you to this morning market. And I have a Sichuan pepper, the most numbing type, in my hand. Do you think I should try one? Please let me know in the comment section, yes or no. And we have Jem said, hi Stan. So I've taken one, stole one from the lovely lady right here. Bye bye. And she said, I can take one with me. And if you guys think I should try it, I will attempt myself to try. And all of this looks like raw sugar. Red type of sugar. Yo, very, very good. Um, we have Gurley said, no, don't try it when it's raw. Thank you so much for caring for my tongue because if I try it, I think maybe afterwards I won't be able to host this live stream. But if I am brave enough today, I would have a try. And you can see the flowers being sold here. Such a busy morning market. James said, no, don't try it. And we have Patty said, the, from the fruit looks very delicious. Yes, indeed. And the flowers look very fresh as well. All different types of flowers. And you can see that in China, we use this type of QR code to pay. So it's going quite cashless in this small market as well.
I wanted to tell you that this is not even a big city here. This is a small county level、um, place in the southwest of China. However, Kashi's pay and COVID protection is very、um, strict everywhere around. I am not wearing a mask today. But everyone else around this, because、uh, for the benefit of hosting、okay、this live stream, and I have been tested really healthy. However, the COVID-19、um, principle is really strict. So, Patty, you were saying that you love all of these fruits. Thank you so much. And all of the fruits are looking very fresh indeed. We have the dragon fruit, of course, impo、uh, imported. Looks like it's imported from Thailand. And we have this type of orange. In Sichuan, they call it the ugly orange because it doesn't look really pretty, but it is really, really fresh to eat.、Um, let's see if I can buy one to eat. 老板，这个可以买买一个吗？买一个可以吗？<laughs> 可以啊。哦、oh, ，嗯，买一个多少钱 ？How much is it if I buy just one? Let's challenge this boss. 买一个多少钱呀？称一下，谢谢。So she's wearing it for me. Patty said, "Don't try." Kevin said, "Please try." And Lucy, Jesse said, "Please don't try it." Three five five. Three five five. Then I'll give you a scan. So I'll scan the QR code. And it is three point eight yuan. Can you take a look? So if you do a simple scan, then you can pay three five five. Can you? Three point eight. And. Refreshing. It will scan my face for recognition, and I will show.、Oh. So the last speaker is saying that I have already paid. So let me put this chili pepper inside, and if I think I want to try it, I will do it later on. And you guys can have a look at these pancakes right here. Wow, looking so good. Stan said, "The open markets are about the same layout as here, but they offer things not available here. That's correct, Stan. A lot of the things are only being able to found in this morning market. And can any of you guess what is inside? What is the ingredients of this open pancake? Let me see. It looks like a type of a vegetable mix. 请问这个里边是什么？芽菜。芽菜。白菜。白白菜。Lemon, lemon, lemon. Oh, so 白菜 So inside it is、um, cabbage, if I'm hearing it correctly. And then when it's dried, it becomes like this. This one buy 的话是多少钱一个？两块五。So actually, guys, it is really affordable. Only 2.5 yuan, less than 5.50 US cents for one of these pancakes. Similar to the one we had with the meat mince just before, also very affordable. 谢谢老板，谢谢你打开给我们看。So let's keep going because inside we have still so much to explore, so much to see, and I'm still yet to taste my ugly orange and see if it it is yummy or if it's ugly. 你好，大爷，辛苦了。Oh. <laughs> so you can see old grandpa, grandma coming to this market. This is really a citizens market and the residents market serving food. For everyone, and very very fresh food. You can see right there. There are people bargaining for a good price. And because it is actually raining a little bit, this part of China is quite humid. Rather than Beijing had a more drier sort of climate, so it's actually raining a little bit. And you can see my phone is covered with raindrops. So I step into the tent. And getting away from the rain, so it's better for our camera and phone as well. So let's go in. But when we come into the tent, our signal may get a little bit weaker. So please bear with us when we step into the tent, and we will not go away. So come in. And in this tent, you can see a lot of fungus being sold. Stan said it's a very big market. Yes, indeed. And Gary said, "One of the pancake was blue. What type was it, Gary? I'm so sorry that it looked blue in your phone. It could, it's all green from what I was seeing because they have coupled it with 
um, cabbage and um, also different types of vegetables. The reason it looks blue in your phone, it could be the setting or could be the light in it. Have you guys ever seen so many different varieties of fungus? We have oyster mushroom right here, the black wooden ear mushroom right here, and we have all different types of mushroom already, and also all different types of preserved bamboo shoots. So this is the moment I want to tell you that Sichuan is home to giant pandas who feed only on bamboo. And the Sichuan people are like giant pandas as well. They love to eat bamboo. They put bamboo in their cuisine, they put bamboo in their hot pot, and they have all different types of sizes of bamboos. This is sort of like winter bamboo. They're big, big and chunky, and it's preserved. And this is like sort of um, spring type of bamboo. And guys, let's take a break, and let me try a little bit of this ugly orange. This is really puffy from the outside and it's very easy to open but the inside is sort of bigger, sort of like a mandarin mm. and the seed is like this but it's so 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 sweet mm. very very yummy so you guys, when you come to Sichuan Remember to buy an ugly orange and have a try and refreshing yourself as well. So let's keep going. A lot of chili. If you are familiar with Sichuan cuisine, you should know that in Sichuan people love sweet, oh sorry, love salty and spicy flavor. And I'm really, really happy to see all this type of fresh leafy vegetables because in oh, yeah, Beijing, yeah. where I live and work, it is the northern part of China and fresh leafy vegetables do not grow really often in that part of China. So I always look forward to any opportunity to come to the southern part of China for a business trip or for a personal trip because I can feast myself on all these type of leafy vegetables. and. If any of you know this type of vegetable, this type of vegetable in Mandarin we call it, we call it yu xin chao or fish flavored vegetable, fish flavored roots. It gives out sort of like a very pungent taste and if you make it into a salad combined with sauces and garlic, it can actually taste like seafood. It is a very rare taste, not a lot of people love it, but I love it very much. And you can see behind me, such a big and busy market, it is definitely getting very busy than when we first arrived just 10 minutes ago. What I wanted to show you is another type of very famous Sichuan cuisine, which is Sichuan pickled vegetable or Sichuan preserved vegetables, which is that way over there. I'll let my camera expert to quickly show you the different varieties of preserved vegetables when I take your comments. So we have, Patty said, look at that beautiful fresh vegetables. Yes indeed, yummy, looks so good. It's nice to know, congratulations. Thank you so much, Patty, for your kind words and also any of you guys love eating preserved vegetables, please let me know in the comment section. What type of preserved vegetable do you like? So please let me know indeed. And I want to find my, my Sichuan pepper because I do want to try it later on. And let me tell you the different types. So this is preserved beans preserved cut chicken, preserved vegetable, preserved ah, this is like kimchi type of preserved vegetable and preserved bamboo roots, preserved garlic as well. Let's try one to show you guys what they actually taste like. So this is the owner of this market. Let's give her a shot. 
，老板您好，请问您贵姓啊？我姓谭。谭。谭。谭。也知道了，潘。叫叫姓什么？潘。潘。潘是吗？潘。潘。潘。啊、哦，一个圆胖，一个十一个瘦。哦，我我等一下，那个刘老师，您帮我听一下他姓什么？老老板姓什么？姓谭。谭。谭，哎呀，谢谢。Oh my goodness, <laughs> guys, I'm making myself like a goof right here because this lovely lady, her last name is Tan, but I can't figure out her um. Sichuan dialect. This is Miss Tan. T A N is how you can say hi to her. Tan 老板，您做泡菜做多少年了？三十年了。三十年。Oh, so Miss Tan, she had thirty years of experience making preserved vegetables. So her preserved vegetables are the time-honored ones and must be really good. Let me try some of this using my glove. 我第一个推荐尝什么呢？最推荐的。What do you recommend? This one. 你能不能加一个起来？我再加一个就够了，一个。这个是什么做的呀？这是民国菜系的。哦。哇。哦。好吃，好吃。Wow. I feel like it has many different layers of flavors. First of all, I'm tasting a lot of spiciness. And in the second bite, I'm tasting a little bit of numbness, and it's very salty. So if I have this with my porridge or congee, I will definitely have one or two big bowls of it. Very good. I'm going to finish all of it for you guys. Preserved vegetable from Sichuan. Very good indeed. And let me try to see your comments and if there are any different ones you like me to try. So have a look at this part right here as well. So they have some different type of beans to eat, and in here it is um, duck eggs. 鸭蛋还是鸭蛋是吗？鸭蛋。鸭蛋，咸鸭。Duck eggs, salted duck eggs, and over there, this, this is century eggs. So when you cut it open, it's actually a duck side, a duck yolk inside. Party said, ha ha ha. Stan said, well. Gary said, hello. Thank you so much, everyone, for your lovely comments. And Jesse said, "I love preserved cabbage." So, 有那个泡菜吗？这个有没有那个白菜？白菜。白菜。So Jesse, I was asking whether she has a preserved cabbage for me to see. Um, however, I don't think there is one. So let me try one last one to show you before we move on. 再尝试，再尝一个吧。第二个尝，这个是吧？再帮我加一个，谢谢。I love pickled eggs to eat. Thank you. Wow, she's giving me a lot. Of, uh, mm. So it tastes really sweet as well. I'm uh, sorry, so spicy as well, but different from the other one I've tasted. Let me ask Mr. Tan how it is made. 这个是什么传统做法呀 ？What is the traditional way of making it? 谢谢。So Miss Tan said, first you have to ferment it for a while, and then you need to put it inside her trusted container, and you do it for ten or few days. And you can see in here all different, 谢谢 all different types of preserved chili as well. So chili, ginger, and more chili. Sichuan people definitely know how to have fun and eat good food. So I think for all of my colleagues back home, I should be bringing home some authentic Sichuan preserved vegetable for you guys to try in Beijing. And let me buy some from Miss Tan so that I can bring home to all of my lovely colleagues in Beijing. Let's see which type I want you to buy. I think I'll buy this first, and then I'll come back for some more after the live stream. This is how to sell it. Oh, first, take a half kilo, okay? Thank you. So I have one half a kilogram for my colleagues back in Beijing, and this is my souvenir from Sichuan for you guys.
And of course, I need to scan this QR code. 十块钱对吧 ？So it's ten yuan. And I'll key in ten yuan in my phone. And if I click pay and scan my face, yay! So guys, wait for me to come back to the office. You will have some preserved vegetable from me. 谢谢 And this is really really yummy. 好的好的，再见 So let's keep going. And what is this very long stick? This gigantic long stick is yam, Y A M. That the Chinese people love to put in their cuisine as well. And guys, we are getting very excited, and I think I have missed out a lot of important information to tell you. Where I am is the Sichuan province, which is the second biggest province in land area, and it is in the southwest of China. Last year, I have actually come to Sichuan with the China Plus team to report on poverty alleviation, and that was in the other side, the western side of Sichuan. And they had, other than the Han people, which is the majority, also a lot of、uh, beautiful ethnic groups, Tibetan, Qiang, Nashi, living in that area as well. But right now, I am in the northern part of Sichuan. And you can see that in all different areas of Sichuan, they have different type of people and very very beautiful local life for us to see. These are all very fresh type of vegetables indeed. And now I am tempted to speak to some of the shoppers right here to find out if they love this. Market and how long have they shopped here for? Let's see if any of these people are happy to talk to me. Let me ask this person right here. 小姐姐你好，我们在做一个直播，想问一下您是经常来这边买东西的吗？嗯，不是，就住在附近对吗？嗯。哦、oh, ，So， 请问您贵姓？我姓王。姓王 ，This is Miss Wang， and she lives nearby. You can see by her casual style of clothing right here. And she said she's been coming here for a long time. And I want to ask why does she love coming to this market? And is she looking forward to the Chinese New Year that's coming by? 请问您现在有没有在准备一些年货啊什么的？年货啊，还没开始是吗？什么时候开始啊？Oh, thank you, thank you. So Miss Wang said, my family is taking care of the Chinese New Year preparation, and I'm not doing anything yet. So she's very, very lucky because her family is doing a lot for the Chinese New Year, and she can have some time free. Oh, guys, forgot to tell you, lotus root, lotus root. We have Jim saying, "Can you do you wish you were there shopping?" Yes, indeed. Very reasonable price. Thank you so much, Michelle. This is a great、um, market to be in. Thank you so much. Oh well, and I was telling you everyone that we're in Sichuan Province. S I C H U N is how you can spell Sichuan. It is in the southwest of China, famous for giant panda and famous for its spicy cuisine, especially hot pot. I can promise, if you go into any of the Chinatown overseas, I'm pretty sure you can find a Sichuan restaurant, and if you're lucky enough, you can find a hot pot restaurant as well. And ta-da! This is a lot of the ingredients you can put in your hot pot. 老板，看一下。大家看一下。So all of these are sort of fish balls or meat balls, different types of frozen dumplings you can cook. It's already made, and you can just boil them. This is a taro ball made with taro as well. And I want to talk to the shop owner a little bit. 小姐姐你好，请问您贵姓？姓王 This is Miss Wang, W A N G, Miss Wang, and similar to Ming Jie, the、uh, guide of San Xin Dui, who was doing the live stream with my colleague Tian Ran, also W A N G, Miss Wang. And I wanted to ask her, is her shop getting very busy coming towards the Chinese New Year time? 想问您一个问题，就是马上要过春节了，这个店是不是越来越忙了呀？啊，我们这边一
Yeah, the best opportunity is during Mang Yi's time. During Mang Yi's time, right? So he said, usually coming towards Chinese New Year is the busiest time for this shop. And I want you to ask, how long has she set her store in this market for? Can you tell me, you've been in this market for how long? Two years. Two years. So for two years, she has done her market. And I want to ask whether COVID-19 has been hard for her. 请问那个疫情的时候，您这边有没有受到一些打击呀、啊？啊，没有没有。没有啊。啊、哦，太好了，谢谢谢谢。So she said actually during COVID-19 her business was not hit at all because even though she couldn't open her shop in the market, but a lot of her loyal customers would call her to send some hot pot into their homes. So she still can keep her business coming. And 谢谢，再见。Again, and that is so amazing because in um, COVID-19 time, internet business or internet ordering were booming in China because that was a good way for people to send food and buy food around. And I'm pretty sure that in your country or where you're from, maybe you did some online ordering yourself. So if you're doing some, please key in the comment section and let me know what was your best online order. What did you buy online that you love the most? Let me know because my favorite will definitely be a type of clothing. And wow, check out it over here. They even have 这是什么牛排啊牛排 steak being preserved in the Sichuan spicy style. 这个是什么肉羊肉啊牛肉吊牛肉啊 so this is tender beef beef tenderloin, and we have chicken right here of course. 这是肝，腰花。So this is liver, I think. Please correct me, my colleague Min Rei, back in the office if I'm wrong, because she is a foodie indeed. So I'm thinking this is liver, and the other one, the English name just escaped me. So Min Rei, please help me. And this is preserved chicken feet. Duck tongue, 这是鸭舌对吧 ？Duck tongue as well. Fresh duck tongue being preserved. 这也是直接吃还是煮火锅？煮火锅的。哦、oh, ，So all of these are used for、um, hot pot. Very cool. And Miss Wang is such a cute and nice lady. I want you to see if she can say hi to all of us in the comment section. Um, 跟我们观众打个招呼，会不会说 hello? Hello. <laughs> 大家好。She said hello, hello everybody. 谢谢，谢谢。And if you are happy to see some different type of、um, food, and if you have an open mind, I encourage you when you come to Sichuan, try some of this in your vegetable, in your hot pot. So this is more of a popular taste in Sichuan, but maybe a quiet one for you guys if you haven't tried it before. This is wow, ya chang. Ah, <laughs> chang. Wow. So this is goose, goose um sort of inlet. 当天的 And I never seen it before. 这是鸭肠对吧 So duck in the intestines and goose intestines. Oh my goodness. I've only ever tried duck, but not goose. And the Sichuan people love putting it into hot pot and only cook it for less than one minute because when it comes out, it will be very fresh and very sort of、um, chewy as well. And you can see、um, they are very proud to say, 当天的对吧 Very fresh because you have this transported to the market on the same day, and you can go into your stomach on the same day as well. So, 谢谢 Ah, thank you so much, Mirai, for helping me. Yes, they are、uh, yao hua, which is kidney pieces. Kidney pieces. Thank you so much. So liver and kidney. Thank you so much, Mirai. There are two words that I always get mixed up. And we have Patty giving us a lot of happy faces. Thank you. And I forgot to invite you guys to actually like and share. And comment on this live stream because the more you share, the more people can watch it, and the more people will be encouraged to come to Sichuan. Ah, hello, and come to China to try our beautiful food and meet the beautiful people. I want you to take you to see how people actually make tofu. So let's go and have a look right there. Oh, but let's have a quick stop. 
Over here are all kinds of, you can see. So they put a lot of nuts and cereal, beans, sesame. This is uh, sort of black wheat, millet, dates inside this basin. And she mixed it up. 老板,马上你要开始粉碎了,是吗? Oh, and let's have a look at what she's prepared to do for all of these beautiful ingredients inside. Can you make a guess of what she's trying to do here? Is she making a breakfast cereal? Is she making congee? So you can see she's pouring it into a machine, turning it on. Wow, and wait when the rest comes out. Wow, so you can see it comes out in smaller pieces. Wow. And I really wish you guys are here to smell it. It smells so good because of all the sesame paste. And afterwards, it will become powder. So she stirs it around as well. So all of this is only 22 Chinese yuan, which is less than five, or oh, even less than three US dollars for the um, sort of powder of all of these good ingredients. 回去是怎么吃啊? 拿回去怎么吃? So guys, this is sort of like a powder that contains a lot of amazing ingredients, sort of like superfood. So when you take it back, you use hot water to pour it into a kind of syrup and you can add some honey as, as well if you want and you can drink it so you have all of the goodness inside so you can see she's packaging it as well so amazing however oh I've never seen it before Ji Nei Jin maybe a type of Chinese medicine and all of these beans this is the first time I've seen such big variety of beans good to see and James is back thank you we have David making a comment. Welcome to this market, David. Michelle says, I love hot pots. I want hot pot right now. Yes, usually we would have hot pot for our New Year banquet as well because it's good for the whole family to try. So, now, time for some tofu. Go in here. Can you see this? It's so gooey. 老板,看一下你的豆腐,能不能戳一下看看是硬的还是硬的。Thank you so much. Um, I think I won't touch the food, but you can see all of the tofu being made. And um, I wonder whether there's a place that you, you can see how the tofu is made. But maybe they've already made it today. So in China, tofu can be cut into this type of pieces. And I want you to come this way to have a look as well. Hello,你好,爸爸。你在写作业吗?你几年级啊?二年级,你长得好漂亮啊。你叫什么名字?啊?秦霄雅。秦霄雅,你会说hello吗?和镜头说hello? Wow, she's so cute! You can give her a lot of thumbs up. This was Qin Xiaoya, that was her name. And I'm guessing that these are her parents and she is having a winter holiday. It is now winter holiday time for all of the children in China. And uh, apparently she's doing some homework. So the kids um, for this market, she goes up, she grew up, um, sorry. She grew up in this market, I can tell. and. Um, she helps her family all the time. Time for some water again.
so it's time that I need some water because it's too much talking. And over here, you can see this is the meat stand. Different from having meat in the supermarket. Different from having meat in the supermarket in China, especially in an open market, a lot of meat are being sold, hanging down from the actual store. And you can see people are busy buying them as well. Um, the hygiene in this market have been proved by the government and all the time they have people coming to check it and you can see that the shop owners and the shoppers are all wearing masks so you can be assured of their hygiene and quality and you can see this grandma here is selling some vegetables as well so um, this grandma she's 60 years old and she still uses this type of weight, this chin, we can take it and see chin. Yeah. 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 So this, she still uses this type of very traditional um, way of measuring how heavy her vegetable is. And I think I've only seen it when I was a little girl, and I haven't seen it for a very long time. So it's really good to see it. Nana, you this chin is how you use it? So in China we use jin, uh, which is half a kilo, and I'm pretty sure she's been uh, doing this for a very long time. And if you want to say hi to grandma, you can say hi and I'll um, message or communicate your message to her as well. Nana, thank you. Bye 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 bye. bye. <laughs> You can see she's so lovely as well and guys I still haven't tried my raw Sichuan pepper yet so I'm still waiting for your comments to see if I should try some Sichuan pepper or not and I'm looking around for a place to show you some Sichuan um, sausage but um, I think I've already missed out I think over there is sort of like a place you can see how Sichuan sausage is made and if you remember Lia, my lovely colleague, her favorite type of sausage to eat is Sichuan sausage. This is a place to make Sichuan sausage. But I don't think Xian Yu Xiang Chang Ma But I don't think they have one yet. However, they do have the outside. They do have the outside of the sausage, the sausage coat. That you can sort of imagine they would put the fat meat or the lean meat uh, mixed up in a certain portion inside the sausage coat and then they would make the long and spicy Sichuan sausage. And let me just quickly step out and let me use this as a background to answer your questions. You can see this market is so busy and we have scooters are all around. This, there's a scooter trying to come by. 没事, 没事, 可以过来, 没关系, 没关系. And let me see if we have. Oh, 再见, 再见. <laughs> uh, let me see if we have more comments right here. Sausage casings are what was just shown. Thank you so much, Jesse, for always giving me the correct way of um, telling what the item is named. Thank you. Thumbs up, hats. And um, we have Stan said. Do not eat the paper roll until you have either some milk to drink or bread to eat. Otherwise, it will be so hot. Well, I think I would like, always love a challenge, but um, I think I should be okay because I love spicy food and I'm quite good at eating it. And speaking of spicy, my favorite type of fish is to try spicy fish. But we can see some fish being sold right there. So I follow my camera pers um, expert to go into the place where we sell fish. So let's first have a look at the fish over here. So this is Zhang Laoban. This is Mr. Zhang. 
and um, he said his fish are being imported from the other provinces to Sichuan um, from maybe the northeast of China and he also grow or protect some fish in his own farm as well and you can see this is a type of fish that is really popular in northwest China and we have tried it before when Leah and I had a trip to Harbin smaller fish all different types of fish that is what you call fresh fish that is right and other than the fish you also have some shell here as well oh and I think today we are very lucky because when you go inside when you go inside you can actually see how they are preparing fish for customers it is sort of like when I shop for fish in the Australian supermarket they would also cut it for me as well so after they will clean the fish if the customer buys one then cut it clean into the size that they will cook it for maybe making a fish stew hello Jenny welcome and she's so skillful she puts all of the fish in this plastic bag and you can see that both male and female workers work in this morning market and it, it's not like so you can see both female and male workers uh, work in this, super ma uh, in this morning open market and they all make a living from their hard work and come this way I think I've seen something else that I really wanted to show you which is this type of vegetable right here let's have a look 老板看一下您这个菜啊 let's have a look and this vegetable looks like this when you haven't cut it in pieces yet do you have this type of vegetables in where you are from in your country if you do please let me know how you call it because I do love to know the English name for this type of vegetable which is very typical in Sichuan I was told that um, when the city of Wuhan was hit by a huge wave of the pandemic um, actually we had a lot of this type of vegetable being sent from Sichuan to Wuhan to help the people still being able to have some fresh vegetables so waiting for your answer of what this is called and we'll keep going keep going until you can tell me what is that vegetable called in English but I need to tell you in Chinese it is called er cai. so you can spell it e -R, er cai, which is how you can call that type of vegetable in Sichuan and people love making it into a, a pickled vegetable or also sometimes making them into a stir fry as well it's okay go to back so you guys we are in a busy market so of course you will have people coming and going around oh and you can see this grandpa is making his purchase a lot of senior citizens in China are very good at um, making a cashless payment as well amazing so looks like he's bought some food and when he finishes and looks like he spent the 50 yuan and when he finishes I can ask him what he's bought as well oh it's so funny looks like he's made a, a um, mistake it should be 5 yuan but he accidentally keyed in 50 and uh, lucky enough he has changed his mistake otherwise he'll be paying a lot more than he was actually charged oh so he's bought some um, uh, uh, oh gosh so pumpkin that's right and he's bought some uh, oh my English is getting so bad now uh, cauliflower I think Mireille help me correct it if I'm not 这是什么呀? 
开呃萝卜是吗？哦、oh, ，he's bought some radish as well。是回家做中午饭做啊、uh, ，so he、uh, bought it to make lunch。So you can see lunch is so fresh. In the morning, you buy fresh vegetable and you make it into your lunch already. Only a few hours apart. And over here, all of these people eager to buy some food. Thank you, Jesse. That's right. It is broccoli. Oh, broccoli, cauliflower is like liver and kidney. Always something I got mixed up. And um, this is really cool as well. Um, it's sort of like in Mandarin, we also call it green, uh, green bamboo shoot, but I don't think it's the correct name. You guys, can, you guys can let me know. Ori, amazing to see you. Ori Salerno, Salerno, thank you. You have a beautiful name, and I'm sorry if I didn't spell it correctly. Grow similar to Brussels sprouts. Yes, it is really similar to Brussels sprouts, which, which is a vegetable I really like. And. Thank you guys. It is broccoli. Amazing. Thank you so much. And、uh, we have Veronica. Hello. I went to China seven years ago. My kid speaks Mandarin. The trilingual. Oh wow, that is so amazing. Ooh, ooh. Guys, the noise you can hear is over there. But I wanted to tell you that in this part, this part, even though the people are not there, but this is actually this bed. This bed is when you bring your own. Oh, actually inside. So guys, before we go in, I don't know how the signal is because、uh, we haven't tested this part. But we can slowly go in and see、um, how they actually make a、um, sort of duvet or blanket from scratch. 这是做棉被的地方，对吧 ？So in China, still a lot of people believe to bring your own cotton for the. Shopper、uh, for the shopkeeper to make to freshly make a beautiful type of、uh, blanket, and、uh, a lot of people still believe in this type of method, making your own blanket from scratch, because you can choose your cotton, you can choose the outside cover, and you can choose all of it is customer made, and、uh, not a lot of people still buys it from a supermarket. And、um, I haven't. When I was younger, my mom would also bring her own cotton, which is sort of like this right here. My mom would also bring her own cotton for a、um, duvet maker to make her own blanket. However, when I studied abroad、um, in Australia, I just、um, went to the supermarket to buy my blanket. Do you have this type of blanket making in your country? Let me know as well. Making the cover and making the Thick level of the blanket, all from scratch. Beautiful, diverse products are great. Thank you, Michelle said. Beautiful blankets. A lot of jobs there provided for people. Thank you, Danny. That is exactly what I was trying to say. Beautiful place with fresh vegetables and、um, meat to be sold, and jobs created for both male and female workers. And ta-da! Happy Chinese New Year! And we say Happy Chinese New Year this year for very special reason because new sounds like new in Mandarin, which means ox. And this year coming in about two weeks time is the Spring Festival for the Year of the Ox. And just a plug-in for the next coming week for seven days, China Plus will be presenting to you a series of special live streams named. A bite of Spring Festival, and for each day we will be cooking from Beijing a special New Year dish or a special common popular dish from a region in China. And when it's my turn, I will be cooking the famous Kung Pao Chicken from Sichuan on next Sunday. So please remember to tune in and tune into all of our live stream. And you can see we can have a lot of ox images right here. So ox right here, ox, ox, ox,、um, lucky ox, red and yellow、um, colored ox, female male ox, I mean female cattle and male ox and fluffy ones, and also just some generic、um, New Year well wishes. Fu meaning luck, and we usually put it upside down means fu dao, which means fu has arrived. Putting it upside down. 
a very interesting Chinese traditional way. So I put it down here. And I think the shop owner, she is cleaning her shop over here as well. So guys. Whoa! Thank you, thank you. Can you ask me if you buy these things or do you buy them at the holidays? What do you buy? So I wanted to ask the owner whether she usually sells it all year round or only during Chinese New Year. So she said only during Chinese New Year, and because it's raining today, she doesn't have a lot of customers, but she's still waiting for more customers to come around. And that you were hearing was the firecrackers, the sound to mimic the firecrackers, because nowadays for fire safety reasons and for environmental protection reasons, not um, almost I think a lot of Chinese cities had uh, banned firecrackers or fireworks, so you can still hear the sound and um, let's keep going and you can see just so many things around and I'm getting very excited seeing all of this. Oh, I can see a gift for Leah. Hi Leah, <laughs> which is my colleague in Beijing. I want to buy you this <laughs> to bring home to you. This is a very um, heavy cotton made puffed shoe. I think it's really warm for you in Beijing so I'll I'll leave it here for now and I'll come back to buy it for Leah or if any of my colleagues in Beijing would love anything from this market it's your time to place your order in the comment section and let me know what do you want and and for the audiences remember to like and share this live stream as much as you can to encourage the hard working people in Guanghan city in north of Sichuan province and you can see this is sort of like a clothes stand they sell shoes, clothes and beautiful jackets this one looks like what my grandma used to wear a lot the color is very uh, festive and I'm sure it's very very um, nice and uh, I think uh, warm for the new year as well. So guys, I was thinking maybe I can try it all just for good luck <laughs> and uh, I wonder what you think and if you're watching Leah, hi, yes, um, thank you so much Stan, you've been very considerate. We have Leah says hi from the office. Thank you. I remember and still love the red envelopes for Lucky Money. Yes, sorry. And um, uh, someone was saying that their kids were trilingual. Please let me know which are the other languages that they speak. Let me put my phone here. And <laughs> let me try this on. And sometimes you say clothes make the man or clothes make the person. So I want to see whether um, clothes make me as well because this is rather big so I think I can fit it outside my windproof jacket <laughs> so he said this is quite a popular item <laughs> in um, the shop wow it's so warm everyone and it's so good for the winter day <laughs> this is um, cold in southwest China even though the temperature is higher however it's humid cold so the cold goes into your bone and my hand is like just pale white but with this let me see how I look like oh <laughs> I can see myself okay I think I look okay okay so I tried my bargaining scales the Boss said it's a hundred yuan, and I said, "How about fifty? And he said, "It's okay for you." <laughs> it's really, really warm to wear. So you can see that he is also wearing he's like making advertisement for himself. No, two years. He's um, down 
uh, shopping uh, he's had this shop for. Is his business how is How's this business normally? So he said he's actually from Inner Mongolia because I heard he had a different accent and he said for uh, in order to make a living I go anywhere <laughs> and um, I'm pretty sure he's traveled into different places as well um, and here we have beautiful red apples apples in China is and uh, it's always given as a gift to which people peace. Ping uh, is similar to Ping and peace in China. So with this uh, car of uh, apples, I wish you peace in the coming 2021. And, and I can, can try. Looks like I can try this as well. I think this is amazing to be bring back to Beijing. Uh, ah, ah, sorry. <laughs> 不好意思, I thought it's only one hat, but that's that too. Oh, it's really warm. <laughs> How do you think I like? Please let me know. Oh, so much fun shopping in the market. Oh, it is a bit too small for my head though, so let me put it back in the right place for them. I think it was over here. Amazing, and let's keep um, touring around. We're almost at the end of this market. We have Danny said, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> talking too much. We <coughs> I need some water, please. Please give me some water. <laughs> Thank you. And we have Danny said it uh, looks so good on you. Thank you, Danny. And uh, now more food. This is Kui. So this is like a pan fried, a pan fried uh, pancake. This is what, Lord? Hong Tang, this is a raw brown sugar. This is what? Huang Yu? Ah? Yu Su. So this is Yu Su, I think, um, similar to what the um, Tibetan place is like, like, sort of like a battery, um, battery oil. Thank you, Lord. He looks quite occupied. Uh, and let's keep going. Oh, sugar can. Can you show it to us? So he is selling sugar can. How much is it? Two point or five yuan per kilo. And he has a very interesting way of cutting it. And you can see how he cuts it. Check it out right here. So very cool, isn't it? The wisdom comes from the people. Nice hat, Lucy. Thank you. Thank you for the tour. Have a prosperous day. Thank you. Yes, so much to offer indeed. Wow, amazing. So I said thank you so much and thank you for your hard work. Hello, Bobo. So the poor child, the poor boy looks like he still haven't opened his eyes yet. And um, you can see it's such a busy and a hustling, bustle, bustling market. And it is the way, it is the reason why I love touring the small towns in China because they still preserve this type of um, um, uh, sort of authentic living, the authentic flavor of how a community is like, of how a um, nice and busy neighborhood is like. And I love the business in China. Um, 
let me think if there's anything I have missed out to tell you. I told you about Sichuan province, I've told you about the Sichuan cuisine, and um, I wanted to also tell you about the Shu Kingdom, which is where the Sanxingdui um, culture is thinking to be rooted from. Uh, my colleague Tian Ran told you about Sanxingdui, and the Shu people used uh, the Shu Kingdom started from the Sichuan plan. Um, it is a place where it's a lower ground, um, but it is covered with a lot of mountains, and it has uh, given you this type of very special um, food and very special people. The ancient Shu people lived happily in this land, and the currently the uh, province of Sichuan is still referred to as Shu, S-H-U is how you can refer to it and uh, um, people are very proud of their roots as the Shu people. And let's come this way. A lot of steam. Uh, 有一共有五道做法,然后来量子这个高级的。我先说一下第一道,你姓李,so this is Mr. Lee, so, uh, Mr. Lee, so this is Mr. Lee, let's step outside a little bit, otherwise I'm sort of doing like a face massage. Um, Mr. Lee was telling me that this is the traditional way of making a wheat wine, wheat wine. And first of all, you need to steam the ingredients. This is the um, raw material to make the wine. So first of all, you need to steam it and then the actual liquid will come out and when it's cooled down it will become the actual wine that you can see. So Mr. Lee is coming into his shop to show us a cup of the wine that he has made. Well from this huge container Indeed. Hello, Mr. Lee. Hello, Mr. Lee. Oh, so, so this is um, different from what I thought. I thought it would be a brown type of uh, a color, but this is actually Chinese white wine, Baijiu. It's actually a very clean taste. Can you can you can you can you so he... <laughs> so I was telling him to only taste a little bit for us, but uh, I'm, I'm thinking he's a very he's very good at drinking wine, so he actually tastes the whole thing. Thank you, thank you. Okay, Sichuan is a good place. If you have time, all of you want to go to the market. Thank you, thank you. Sichuan is the king of the world. Thank you, thank you. So he was saying that Sichuan is an amazing place. It's uh, the place of heaven, and when you come, you never want to leave. And we do have a saying, Shao Bu Ru Chuan, which means when you are young, don't come to Sichuan because it's just too nice and too enjoyable. And when you are young, you might just spend all of your time in Sichuan, just having fun and uh, touring around, and you won't be doing your actual business. But it's just an exaggerated uh, way of saying how good this place is. I still have my last challenge, which is my bag of orange right here. And thank you for showing us the wine being made. Thank you. I thought you wanted to see how the Chinese white wine is made. And uh, I like Mr. Lee's jacket. Thank you. How about my jacket? <laughs> and let me see if I can still find my uh, Sichuan. Oh, yes, it's here. So I had my last challenge. I wanted to see. I wanted to see if I can bite into this most numbing, most spicy Sichuan pepper when it's raw. Copying and the good example of my colleague Mi Rei. <laughs> so Mi Rei, are you ready? And everyone stand, are you ready? I think I won't actually be biting into it. I will just touch it on my tongue a little bit to see how it actually tastes like. <laughs> I was saying to my camera expert, you can have it. No, I'm joking. <laughs> mm. So, I just bit it a little bit and 
Oh no, my tongue is so numb. <laughs> so they were not joking when they told me this is the most numb. At first, it wasn't anything. It was just okay, not very spicy. But now, mmm, I do have a pungent, numbing feeling on my tongue. It's quite sensational, you guys. Have a try if you want. If you feel like you're sleepy, it will definitely wake you up. And on that note, thank you so much for watching today's live stream. We had a beautiful tour in the mountain market called Chenbei Zonghe Shichang, a northern general market. And that's it for our week-long trip in Sichuan. And we want to thank all of the people who given us such amazing hospitality. Mr. Liu behind the camera, Mr. Shen behind the camera, thank them so much for giving us an opportunity to tour around Guanghan in Deyang City and to see San Xingdui Museum. And if you guys have more questions about this part of Sichuan, please keep following China Plus and we will give you more information in the future. Um, before we go, remember your last chance to like and share this live stream. And now, thank you. Welcome back to Sichuan. This is Lucy reporting. Behind the camera is Mr. Lee. And everyone is welcome to come to Sichuan as soon as you can. Bye bye.